When you build web stories, you have full control over all design decisions. That can feel intimidating. So here are a few guidelines to make sure that you have fun creating stories and your unique and authentic voice shines through. In this episode, I'm going to talk about text first, then dive into images and videos, and finally talk a little bit about animations. So let's jump in and make sure your stories look good. Let's talk about text. Well, as a first quick tip, we recommend using not more than 280 characters on a story page. Text is super critical to your content, but that also means if used incorrectly, it can make your story hard to consume. So first and foremost, you must ensure that your text is legible. This means choose the font family, size, weight, and line height that make text legible. Let's talk about each of these for a second. A common mistake made by creators is that they choose a font that is hard to read. So make sure you choose appropriately. For example, if choosing a cursive font, make sure it's legible. Also, font size is important. A rule of thumb is to use font size 16 as the minimum for essential font only. Font weights are another facet that can impact readability. Avoid a combination of small fonts with light weights and poor color contrasts. Finally, give your paragraph the appropriate amount of breathing space by picking the right line heights. A crucial aspect to text legibility is ensuring that the text contrasts appropriately with the story page background or image. You can see in this example that the poorly contrasted image on the left makes the content hardly readable as compared with the much better image on the right. One way you can accomplish this is by using a scrim layer or filter on the background to help increase the text color contrast. Another way to do this is to use a text box background fill to make the words stand out or use a shape over a busy image to really highlight the text. Also, if your editor provides it, Keep text within safe zones. This is because the top and bottom of the page might get cropped on some devices and you want to ensure a great experience for all your users. Always use padding and preview your stories before publishing them. If elements are used purely for design aesthetics, they can be placed outside the safe zone. But of course, there is more to it than just legibility. Text can also be beautiful and Paul actually made a deep dive into the world of typography. So instead of repeating what he said, I'm just going to refer you to him. So let's move on to videos and photos. Do I really have to say that? Okay. Well, if you like this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell to not miss a single video from us. Videos and pictures are worth a thousand words. So making sure that they are engaging and high quality is crucial. Include as many videos as you like in your web story. Aim for videos that are less than 15 seconds. And if you have a longer video, consider breaking it up into smaller chunks. Also, first person narratives are great as they really help connect with your audience. So try to shoot content with that in mind. Always try to use full bleed images and videos as they are the most immersive. In this first example, both visualizations are good, but the full screen image is much more immersive. Also, if you're showing off your product, especially fine detailed items, you can be sure they'll shine through in full bleed. But as you use full bleed content, be mindful of how you crop down your media. Don't force crop visuals if you're not able to keep the key subject of the video or photo in focus and complete. Improperly framing your content to be full bleed can have the reverse effect than what's desired. Also, quality is king, so avoid low resolution or distorted images. If you want to know more about how to optimize your videos for web stories, here's another video from Paul about just that. A really great way to jazz up your stories is to use GIFs. They can be delightful, but as with everything else, remember not to overdo it. Finally, animations. Animations can enhance storytelling and be delightful, but always animate with a purpose and to draw focus to an important detail, not to distract from the story. Make sure to add value to the story instead of creating visual noise. Your intent should be to engage and delight users and not to annoy them. With these tenets in mind, you can design beautiful stories with attractive animations.
One useful type of animation is adding motion to images, which gives life to a static page. The Ken Burns effect is a great example of how to really bring your pages to life with a simple animation. But beware, don't overuse animations on a single page and definitely avoid jarring animations that can distract users. In fact, you should avoid animating every page of your story and reusing the same animation over and over again. Finally, text animations can hinder readability, so use them carefully as you don't want your readers to have to wait for an animation to read some text. Well, that's the end of our marathon on how to design web stories. We've reviewed some common principles that will hopefully help creators like you elevate your content. We'll be sure to post new recommendations and best practices in the near future. Happy designing. Until next time.